My grandpa recently died. Grandma didn't like to get involved in finances much. I assume it was some old fashioned thing where the man handles the money. He was a doctor and had been diligent with his saving and investing, so they've always been well off. So grandma was looking at the finances, since now she has to take care of them, and what do you know, portfolio worth almost 7 million dollars. Apparently grandpa was pretty damn good at saving and investing and didn't tell anybody. Sort of the opposite, grandfather was worth a few million, but aside from pretty nice birthday presents he never seemed to spend much. He died, family expected to cash in, turned out he donated 80% of it to charity. We knew he was scared to die because he didn't know if he'd get into heaven. Well grandpa, those thousands of animals you saved and the people you supplied with clean water and better healthcare will put in a good word for you I think. My dad bought a cruise for himself and my mom for Christmas. She doesn't know and she always thought they would never go on a cruise because boat 3 came out. The cruise is 3 nights at a resort in Florida, 3 days on the ship and 5 nights in the Bahamas. Like every 5 years or so he gives her a present this big. I can't wait to see her face. I know someone whose father is also his grandfather. At least he's not his own grandpa. I went to the office on New Year's Day several years ago to pick up something I'd forgotten. Our quiet and unassuming male accountant was also in the office wearing a dress, macup and really quite fabulous sparkly nail polish. Being New Year's Day, he could easily have said whoa man, I went to a wacky party last night, but he tried to hide under his desk and the opportunity was kind of lost. Never told anyone, but I feel my expense claims were a lays processed slightly faster than anyone else's. It's really admirable that you kept it a secret for a lot of people, spreading that kind of gossip would have been irresistible. Congrats on your ability to be discreet. Youth Knozzle is famed for his polite discretion. One of my good guy friends has been sleeping with our lab teacher for a few months now. JZ and Beans fight all the time. I work at a high class hotel they frequent it and the stories from our staff say they yell at each other when they stay with us. He has 100 problems. Two massive egos in one relationship? Not surprised. That's pretty much what a friend of mine who works for Sony slash BMG told me. After listening to their stories about dealing with her, it's really hard for me to imagine how Bian's got a reputation for being nice. She must have an amazing PR team. Anything you could hypothetically share. What's going on with your usernames? Who are you people? My friend got a tummy tuck, but because of how her skin had sagged from her pregnancies, they had to pull her skin up to do the tuck rather than down. End result. She's got pubes up to her belly button. That's a joke of my dad's. She's had so many facelifts, she's now got a beard. Edit fixed word order. Infinitely funnier. I'd know it in a different way. She is so facelifted when she smile. Her a hole open himself. I'm sorry, it's a poor translation from French. Easily fixed with just a little bit of electrolysis. I'm amazed she would spend money on a tummy tuck, but not finish it up with the hair removal. I found out one of my close friend's grandfathers owns the Bruins. Some things just didn't add up about what he had told me about back home. So I looked into it, and sure enough, his grandpa is worth 4 billion dollars and owns the Bruins. I'll never bring it up. Because I respect his wanting people not to know he comes from that kind of money for obvious reasons. But I knew something had to be up. Nobody just chooses to like the Bruins. I know I wouldn't want people to know Jeremy Jacobs was my grandfather. Met Jeremy Jacobs at the country club a few years back. He was a nice dude. He had the swankiest Mercedes cart ever. Two people that deployed with me, a man and a woman, began hooking up on the regular while in Iraq. The woman got pregnant and sent home after she started to show. They are both married to other people. Her husband thinks the baby is his. How does he believe it was his? Did she get pregnant right away? Yay she got sent back at around the 3 month mark. Isn't infidelity grounds for dishonorable discharge? Or is that just the marines? Yay, but I deployed with just my company and the chain of command looked the other way, because most of them were f other soldiers too. 
My dad is a pillar of the community and plays an active role in the Catholic Church of a small town. When he got my mom pregnant, he refused to acknowledge me and never even knew my name. When turned 18, he decided that he wanted to be in my life, but he won't tell any of his friends or family about me. Happened to my friend, the dad skipped out when he was an infant then rocks up just before he turns 20, want to be all the cool dad. As far as I'm aware he only spoke two words to his dad and three f's were involved. Waffles, father? I've seen my friend in a gay porn movie. Did you still jerk it, or was it too weird, since it was your friend in the movie? Eight of us girls spent a fun weekend in London. One cheated and had a fling with a guy and nine months later she had a baby. The baby is 10 years old now and looks like the London guy. I don't think her husband nor the Londoner knows the truth. I think about it every time she posts a pic of the kid on Facebook. Doesn't the kid's accent give it away? Sadly I was born without an accent. Cries. This is why you shouldn't have a fling with Russians. They second grow up speaking Russian and you won't understand. Irina. I love you too, son. Honey why does our son stand up and salute anytime Putin is on the news? I don't know what that says, but in my head I heard it as machinery noises. How did you feel when you woke up the next morning? I'd imagine something like, arg, my head hurts. What happened last night? I have a memory of a house burning down, but that can't have happened. Leaves the house. I think I did burn that house down. Leaves the house. Is that what we are calling it now? My last birthday party consisted of a bonfire and beers in my backyard. My boss stuck around real late after everyone left and we talked most of the night. He was so drunk don't think he remembers telling me that his sister was raped and he found the guy and killed him. He even laughed about how hard it was to bury a body. I've never respected and feared a man so much in my life. Now that's how you motivate your employees to be the best they can be. Burying a body is a lot like skydiving. After the first time, the fear is gone, and it's all about chasing that adrenaline rush. You know what I'm saying, Kenny? Yes. How's that report coming along? Almost done, sir. Very well, Kenny. My roommate has different girls over almost every night. While I've never caught him in the act, there are condoms hidden around the room. Not hidden very well, and he gets very handsy with them. He has a sweet, dedicated girlfriend who visits every month. I used to work at a Kinko's where the ad guy was fu- The assistant manager. They had a very off on relationship. During one of their off phases the ad guy told me that the manager had a kid when she was like 13 or something, which her parents took custody of. Whenever she said her upcoming plans were something like one have to babysit my sister this weekend, she was really talking about her daughter. One time when we were on the shop floor and the manager was talking and mentioned her sister, the it guy turned around to face me and make air quotes behind her back. I guess it might be because we were all in our early 20s at the time, but for some reason I found the whole situation kind of hysterical. Do my 5th graders have a crush on? I performed the ceremony at my good friend's wedding, but was the only one who knew it was a fake. They had been having problems and had realized they wanted to call it off but didn't want to cancel the wedding due to wanting to get family together and not losing dollars on deposits for nothing. I think he also hoped it would bring them together again. So I performed the ceremony but never signed any papers. The marriage never actually took place and I don't think they ever told anyone that their subsequent divorce was just a regular breakup. It was really weird to watch all the speeches from brothers and best friends who didn't know sh. Ford models got bought by the Mafia and are using the models as high-end escorts for when celebrities and other VIPs come to New York. And Noel Merrin, one of the judges from ANTM, is a sex offender who blackmailed male models in exchange for sexual favors. That one's not a secret, but it's definitely still happening, even though he got caught. I was terribly confused by your first sentence. I was wondering what a high-end Ford Escort even looked like. Electric locks, windows, and an automatic transmission? Doesn't get much higher end than that. Thank you. I thought I would be the only one who thought this. I read it three times before I understood. But why male models 